My name is Hubert Devnish. I'm a linguist. I'm interested in Caribbean Creole languages and the case of Trinidadian French lexicon Creole is very special. In most situations, one has to travel high into the mountains or deep into forests to find the last speakers of a dying language. Not so in the case of Trinidadian French Creole. Just outside Port of Spain, the capital, and off a side road leading out of the now suburban area of Maraval, is a steep road leading into and up into Paramin. The jeep-like vehicles serving as taxis up the steep road tell us that right here on the doorstep of the capital is another world. A world of small hillside cultivation of seasoning and of transporting the seasoning to the city to be sold and returning to the cocoon that is Paramin, the community of French Creole speakers, their lifestyles and their cooking and the world of Mrs. Constantine, who seems to have inherited in her genes the language and the culture. Kino. Marie. 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 Constantine. Constantine. What I carry in Alexandrian Constantine. Oh. That is the name I born with. Kilaju. You Ou paye très six capas pour moi. Moi plus, moi vlo, moi vlo plus passé ou plus m'a trouvé pour un yé. You know what I mean? Do, do, tell me. Yeah. Tell me. You say, um, <laughs> she tell him, he tell him, my husband tell him, he pay 13, 6 cents for me. Mm -hmm. So he buy me. Mm -hmm. I say, well, I want more than you because you pay for me and I get you free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are from Loyon. You are from this cabbage. Cucumba. Cocos. Cocos. Yeah, I How do you make that? Just Jean Cafe. Yeah. 
Sika so ti ne piti. Um, the reason why let's put this is to prevent the steam from coming out. Mm-hmm. So you're going to find it steaming inside, right? And when it's steaming inside, very little does ex- um, get away, mm-hmm. escape from on, on the edges. Mm-hmm. So it, you'll find that now, that right up until it touch the leaves. Right. So it cover the breadfruit and everything and right. the fish so all the ingredients of the fish going into the breadfruit right. and the taste of it. So when you taste mm, mm. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. Um yeah, Nicole Cousin Mwen Vle Connect. He plus who sort of Guadeloupe. Constate, concentrate. What is it? Constate. Uh, you sell, you sell it. You sell it. You can. We have la place. 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 We et puis toi pour nous, nous qui nous la place, et puis nous qui nous qui est venu, nous qui acheté, qui va être la monnaie. Mm-hmm. Je dis, je suis regardé bon. J'ai allé ce qui est choisi. Travail ouais. Mm-hmm. Et puis nous ne pouvons pas qu'à garder nous et puis puis nous pouvons respecter. Quand Dieu crée Adam et Eve, He took them in the garden of Eden. Today, they put the minister in, consulting consul, in front of the farmers. First person should come to a country is a farmer, because the farmer feed with all food. You can't go away. An empty bag, cast a lot, and a full bag, can't be. There's been renewed interest in Trinidadian French Creole and its culture within Trinidad itself. There are now groups set up to protect and promote the language and its culture. However, all of that is taking place at precisely the time when almost nobody uses the language in the course of normal, everyday life. Can an industrializing, petrochemically-based society such as Trinidad re-identify with an agrarian and community-based language such as Trinidad French Creole? Moi pas ça, I don't know. Ça ou qu'a pensé? What do you think?